Saudi Arabia prison it's hell. Munapigania simu. Mm-hmm. Munapigania food. I was only, I was 2 weeks old in Saudi Arabia. Then the daughter slaps me. She pulled my hair. I was trying because I had braids when I was leaving the country I had some braids. Now she pulls my hair. I try to kumtuanisha mikono. Akani slap. Akienda kunikaribia mimi nikamskuma. Accidentally alianguka na nyuma. Oh, akaangukia handle za kabati juu tulikuwa kitchen. Ikamkata hapa kwa uso. Me within 5 minutes the cops were there. Me challenges zikaanza. I'm big. Most uh, most of the Arabs I don't know why they love body shaming people. Mm-hmm. So ni ule Mwarabu ana akipiga simu anasema nataka msichana wa kazi na sikue mnono. Mhm. Sitaki mtu mnono. Wako na ile believe ya mtu mnono sijui anakula. Sijui mtu mnono sijui ananuka, sijui nini. Yaani mm-hmm. Arabs sijui shida yao inakuanga gani. Mm-hmm. The baby daddy mm-hmm. was alikuwa mwizi. And mimi sikuwa najua. So mtu yeye akiwa 8 months mm-hmm. ndio alishutiwa pale total Dandora. Mm-hmm. But mimi sikuwa najua ni mwizi takaniambia unakaa vizuri sana and i can introduce you to the kind of business that i do mm-hmm. and it's okay you can earn a lot of money mm-hmm. utafanya hivi utasimama hapa mwanamume akikuongelesha mm-hmm. akikuuliza short ni pesa ngapi mm-hmm. umwambie short ni 1000 na umuoneshe rooms ni zile pale so mimi nikachukua 2000 nikakuwa so excited nimekuta hapa nimesimama hata less than 10 minutes na nishapata 2000 nikasema this is now this is the work that i'll be doing So naturally niko na mwili but ukiniangalia uso mimi ni mdogo. Mm-hmm. So watu walikuwa hata nilikuwa napata na clients and I'll how old are you? Me I will just say 19. Mm-hmm. And I'm just 15 years. Ndio kwa prostitution it was not easy. Sometimes you will find uh, wanume wabaya. Mm-hmm. They will sleep with you the whole night and they wouldn't give you even a single cent in the morning. Mm-hmm. No kijaribu kuambia mwanamume anataka pesa na kuambia ile kukuchapa ni chakuchapa. Mm-hmm. Abu unasikia ngazi wala sana wanapatikana ngao wameuliwa. Mm-hmm. You will be one of. No men sometimes will be so tempting. Anakuja anakuambia ndakupatia ta 10,000. Tulale bila CD. Unakuwa tempted. Unalala na eh. Gel. Taka magic gel. You can call them. This is the number here. These are the products that they are selling. You can actually visit their shop, Copale du Bois, as the details show there. And now, sasa umetoka. Uka tanti yako akakuambia kuna mtu anapelekana golf. Mm-hmm. Golf taenda. Ni taenda golf <laughs> on 20th of January 2021. And you need to Kenya and I airport like the rest I was so excited and um, my other guard ladies to go to Nenda now to look 11 of us when you to go to from the same agency who we are 11 of us so you to go to Nenda your siku mm-hmm. very excited taking selfies to go for airport mm-hmm. so excited to wear t-shirts the agencies are white mm-hmm. we were looking so good mm-hmm. to be fika airport mm-hmm. to akapo nje kidogo mm-hmm. ju flight ilikuwa 5 pm jioni na tumefika around 2 uh, tukakaa hapo nje kidogo tukapewa our papers and our passports tukaingia ndani ku checking and everything mm-hmm. tukafika pale jo sasa tunaona ndege yenyewe na tusafirisha ndio hii tuko so excited mm-hmm. yeah. so mimi nika travel kama the rest of the people yeah. my first stopover was in um, Ethiopia mm-hmm. from Ethiopia then i took another flight to Riyadh mm-hmm. Saudi Arabia capital mm-hmm. city. Mm-hmm. From there tukapata agent mm-hmm. on the other side and atungoja. Mm-hmm. So what we had to do is just show the t-shirts that we from this agency so mm-hmm. they will pick us up. Mm-hmm. So sisi wenyewe tulikuwa 11 of us tukapeleka kwa basi. Mm-hmm. So tukapeleka kwa tu wengine wali drop you to separate mm-hmm. some of us along the way. Sasa mimi nikapeleka kwa ofisi. He stayed there tulipata mfilipino mm. mwenye alitukaribisha since yeye ndo alikuwa anielewa kizungu mm-hmm. akatuambia ndo ana represent Kenyans mm-hmm. just in case of anything we should talk to her mm-hmm. 
tukanyanganywa simu and our passports mm-hmm. tukaenda kwa ofisi tukaoneshwa mali tutalala mm-hmm. and that is nini lifika Saudi Arabia on Friday mm-hmm. so mimi Saturday jioni tukaka mm-hmm. kwa ofisi mm-hmm. Saturday jioni nikakujiwa na mwajiri wangu mm-hmm. actually it's the daughter mm-hmm. mwajiri wangu alikuwa an old an old lady mm-hmm. And now the daughter is going to pick me up mm-hmm. from the agency. Yeah. She came pick me up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went for like 1 hour 30 minutes. We arrived at her place at my working place. Mm-hmm. I was introduced to the whole family. Mm-hmm. I was shown my room. And uh, I they told me now you have to start working. Mm-hmm. Immediately the I was told drop your bag mm-hmm. in your room and go to the kitchen and you start working. I started doing the dishes, cleaning the house till 12. That is when I went to sleep mm-hmm. and I was told I should wake up at 10 a.m. in the morning. Mm-hmm. 10 a.m. in the morning, they had already bought my uniforms, my working uniforms, my personal hygiene things to use, toothbrush, lotion, roll-ons and everything. Mm-hmm. Now, it's me now to start working. Mm-hmm. But I asked them why don't I have my phone and they're like you only have to talk to you have you only have to use your phone on Fridays mm-hmm. only and just for two hours mm-hmm. you call your people you tell them that you're okay mm-hmm. and that is it mm-hmm. me I was okay I didn't have a problem with that mm-hmm. but these daughters mm-hmm. okay me in the family when I first arrived in that house I found three people mm-hmm. uh, the grand the mother mm-hmm. and two daughters mm-hmm. Later on that week on Thursday mm-hmm. the other daughters came from their husband's house mm-hmm. houses they were four daughters mm-hmm. they all had kids I was like okay me I didn't understand that his house I would is mm-hmm. and now the girls would come the daughters came talk to me hey how are you I'm fine your name I told them my name is Rose mm-hmm. we interacted mm-hmm. but now I will be busy in the kitchen doing the dishes the daughters will come and scold me why is the baby crying I'm like what is wrong with you mm-hmm. they will just they will just someone then this this day one of the daughters slapped me mm. i was only i was two weeks old in saudi arabia then the daughter slaps me she pulled my hair i was trying because i had braids when i was leaving the country I had some braids now she pulls my hair i try to kumtwanisha mikono akanislap akaenda kunikaribia mimi nikamskuma accidentally alianguka na nyuma so oh, akaangukia handle za kabati juu tulikuwa kitchen ikamkata hapa kwa uso me within five minutes the cops were there and up two weeks old in Saudi Arabia i was taken to the police station i spent a whole weekend there because I was arrested on Thursday. I spent the whole weekend there. On Saturday jioni kafiri waitangwa kafiri sasa. Kafiri the daughter to my employer akakuja. Mhm. Akaniambia tumeongea. Na agency yako na wamesema turudi kwa nyumba. Mimi ni si kuwa na shida. Nikarudi kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. But nikiwa sasa unajua niko Kenya. Uh, nikiwa Kenya tukiwa shule because I stayed the near before leaving to Saudi. Mm-hmm. The whole of 2020 due, due to corona. Mm-hmm. So I didn't travel your time. But nilianza process ya kwenda Saudi Arabia 2019 mm-hmm. after nimetoka kwa the violent husband. Mm-hmm. So huko tukiwa training kuna wasichana tulikuwa nao. So they happened to leave the same year wakaenda Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. Now sasa hizi kwenye nimepewa dikape benye hiyo wiki venye nilipewa simu. Mm-hmm. Nikamuuliza kwa niku kuna indanga je alikuwa shaka the whole of 2020 mm-hmm. uko Saudi Arabia so kwa na one year Nikamuuliza kwa niku kuna indanga aje akaniuliza ni nini mimi I explained everything to her akaniambia rose wewe ni kukufuta kufa mm-hmm. The best thing ni kukemboi na amuliza kukemboi ni kufanya nini akaniambia kukemboi ni kutoroka Rose lazima utoroke jio nyumba utakufa Nikamwambia ni sawa sasa kuna fai mtu anatoroka anga aje Akaniambia pia mimi na kwenye niko na kemboi sasa nitakuhook up na huo msana mwenye na nikemboisha nikamwambia ni sawa mimi akanipatia namba huo msichana akaniambia sasa but before anipatia namba huo msana akaniambia rose make sure uko na simu yako just create a sim make sure you have your phone every day 
so mimi i sasa nikamuuliza how do i create a scene niliona nilisukuma tu mtu akaanguka kagwaro ni bepeleko police station akanimbe no you tell them wakupatie simu yako at kama atakuzimia wifi since wifi is the only th- way i can communicate atakapata kupatia wifi mm. just one once a day uh-huh. and just hata kama ni one hour ukishamaliza kazi jioni na uko kitu saa mbili saa tatu kumwambia kuweke password and actually i talked to the lady to the daughter akanimbe it's okay i can stay with my phone and uh, bishtangu aliniambia niwaambie niko na watoto niko na mtoto mdogo nimeacha mtoto wa 2 months Kenya so lazima nijue progress ya mtoto and that is what i did uh-huh. so my, uh, the daughter accepted nikuwa natumia simu but jioni around 9 uh-huh. to 10 for one hour wananiakishia wifi i talk then wanazima wifi wana disconnect wifi walikuwa so, na disconnect so la room yako ama the whole No ali, alikuwa anachukua simu yangu anatoa hiyo password. Ana oh. disconnect. Oh, so lazima upe wakupe password. Eh wa lazima wanipe password. Sasa so, alikuwa anakuja anatoa. Mhm. Alikuwa ananiambia nipatie simu oh. ana disconnect. Nasikiaga watu wakisema wakiwa golf ati unaweza pewa wifi na pia unaweza nyang'anywa. Kube siku anajua huwa ni password wanaweka alafu sasa wana disconnect. I thought wifi ikizimwa inazimwa the the whole of that building. Uh-huh alikuwa na disconnect ya wifi so mimi time yenye nimepatiwa wifi ndio na communicate na ule deb ule deb akanipatia namba ya mtu mwenye tutaongea naye but actually akamtumia pia namba yangu so ule deb ndo alini mwenye anikemboisha ndo alini inbox kwa whatsapp mm-hmm. ah nembe rose sasa anaitwa flani flani stamtaja jina mm-hmm. and uh, nimesikia unataka kutoroka nikamwambia yeye mm-hmm. nataka kutoroka akaniambia sawa fanya hivi nitumie location mimi hata siji kutuma location sasa mimi kuna boxes zilikuwa zibeko hapo kwa room ndo nilikuwa naangalia <laughs> na piga picha na buliza ni huku akaniambia no kwa whatsapp yako pale kwa hapo mali unaenda ku type kuna ka ring fulani press that ring enda kwa location ngoje account usintumie live location send the current location uni ngoje exact up to 5 approximately 5 meters Mm-hmm. then you send it to me. Mimi nikafanya hivyo. Akaniambia uko riaf but uko please bara riaf. Yaani mm-hmm. uko tao ni kama sasa fika. Unajua bado fika ni Nairobi mm-hmm. asa hivyo. Mm-hmm. Ndio aliniambia. Mm-hmm. Nikamwambia sasa akaniambia sasa hiyo place kutoka ni 1000 dereva. Uko bara riaf place ya 1 hour 30 minutes. 1000 pesa ya Kenya. No 1000 Saudi riyals. Hiyo ni pesa gapi ya uko? Okay t- Uh, that is 1000 Saudi riyals. Okay, you could just can it depends with the rate. It's, mm-hmm. It might be 30000, 29, 28 or 27. It depends with the rate, the way it's going. Hey. Uh-huh. So, nikamuuliza sasa mimi nitafanya nini? Akaniambia na nikamwambia hata sijalipo. Akaniambia wewe ngoje ulipwe utakuja. Mimi nikalipwa. Mimi nikapata salary ya nilipewa 500 na 100 100 100 100 so lex like salary yangu ilikuwa 900 real nikamba nikamwambia nimelipwa 900 real saka niambia sawa umelipwa okay na kwa location yako niko nayo siku fulani fulani ndio ujue dereva anakukujia make sure uko na wifi nikamuuliza we si unajua kwa yangu kuchukunda na nikishangwa siku fulani akaniambia rose you are smart you better than this hiyo siku be good Tumi hatu unajua sasa mimi nakochiwa I know nothing mm-hmm. I'm being coached on what to do Mimi nikaambiwa sasa hiyo siku just be good so mimi siku niliamka niko singing joyfully cuz unajua najua ninaenda mm-hmm. this is the end of me in this mm-hmm. house mm-hmm. niko joyful hiyo siku mpaka the daughters were okay mm-hmm. It was on a Thursday mm-hmm. even the rest of the daughters came but nikaambiwa mtu akitoroka lazima akuwe na abaya e, mtandio na ni cup He nika nikauliza huo msichana sasa na hizi zote sina akaniambia tu just be nice sasa mimi nikaenda nikaambia ule msichana mwenye at least alikuwa anaelewa kizungu nikamwambia nataka kujua kujifunga hizi vitu i just play with their minds <laughs> nimwambie maybe nataka kukuwa muislamu uh-huh. and that is what i did uh-huh. nikaenda nikaongelesha huo msichana nikamwambia hebu nipatie hizi vitu zenye mnajifunga hivi na hivi uh-huh. Definitely warabu kiva kitu yao haizichukua tena anakupea yote. So alinipatia tu wabaya 
kanipatia nikapi mtandio na nikapa kanionyesha vinyo zinafungwa nikamuuliza kama anaweza nipe akademi it's okay i can keep them he, mimi nilikuwa excited hata isikumbaka nikapewa ka handbag <laughs> mm-hmm. so kweli ulicheza smart <laughs> handbag sasa ikafika ni time yangu ya kutoka. Mm-hmm. Unjua sasa familia mzima iko it's a weekend. Weekend huyu inaanza on Thursday in Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. It's a weekend now the whole family is there. Mm-hmm. The kids are yelling. Mm-hmm. 14 kids there in the house yelling na ni wale watoto wanatushana hivi tudogo tudogo. The oldest ako na 11 years. Kwa tia watoto wote. Sasa mimi nika nilikuwa na communicate na mwenye demo nyana ni torosha. Akaniambia dereva ako nje. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa jikoni naosha viombo the daughters walikuwa na walikuwa hapo jikoni wanatarisha kupika rice and chicken mm-hmm. initangwa kapsa kapsa di judge mm-hmm. ndio walikuwa wanajitarisha kupika Mimi nikapigiwa nika simu nikaeka earphones kwa masikio nikaambiwa dereva ako nje sasa dema kanitumia ka video ka hapo nje nikamwambia eh hapa ndio niko akaniambia bebe fanya hivi hivyo tu venye ulivyo toka uende Trust you me nilivuka mai niliwavuka miguu hivi na niko na masabuni kwa mikono hivyo tu ndo nilitoka nikafungua gate nikapata driver na hivyo ndo nilitoroka uliwa walijua nikutoroka unatoroka no. ama uliada kwa pole pole tu nilienda tu kama naongea na simu wakadhania maybe naenda kuongea na simu nje jua tuna napiga kelele compound nilikuwa nilikuwa walizana nimeenda hapo compound ya nje juu kuna compound front compound kuna gate mm. compound then main house mm-hmm. so walizania maybe jua tuna napiga kelele nimeenda kuongea na simu nje and that is how i left niliwaruka miguu na masabuni kwa mikono nasikiaga huko <coughs> gate za huko huwa zinafungwa throughout na tena nasikiaga huko uh, labda hata huwezi ona nje unless with the rooftop do one huko nje hiyo nyumba hiyo ilikuwa haikuwa na rooftop ili mm-hmm. rooftop huko juu ni sana alikuwa na kaa kul sana wake ndo alikuwa na kaa huko juu gate ilikuwa inafungwa throughout gate ilikuwa tu unavuruta tu lock ilikuwa tu na lock unasongesha kando unatoka Aiko atiseti nilikuwa mali nimefungiwa. Uh-huh. No. Nilikuwa jadi saa zingine nikiosha hapo compound nilikuwa nafungua gate na chungulia na sinaosha two stairs no just already ni ajua natoroka so naangalia the surroundings. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Na mimi ndo napatiana updates ni gate flani niliona iko na CCTV. <laughs> hey. Kwa hiyo <laughs> smart. Bindo napatiana hey, The reason why nilikuita Island Lady. <laughs> These things are not normal. <laughs> Sasa ulikuwa na save, ulikuwa na jua unapotelea hapa. Nilikuwa na jua ndapotelea hapa. Then mimi kafika siku ya kutoka nikawaruka tu miguu na masabuni zangu kwa mikono. I went outside. Nikapata driver na ningoja nikaingia kwa gari. Do ni nikap yangu hizi nguo za Kiarabu hizi hizo mabaya nikapenda mtandio nilikuwa nimezianika hapo nje. Mm. So mimi nilitoka tu kama nimezi grab nikafungua gate pole pole nikaeka kamawe na nikatoka juu definitely ningeachilia gate ingejibangisha na wangejo nimetoka mm-hmm. so niliweka kamawe nilikuwa ready mpaka hata nishatoka nje na nikaokota kamawe nilikuwa nimekaeka hapo kando so mimi niliweka tu kamawe na nikatoka and that is how i left my kafiri's house one month old nimelipwa salary hiyo siku 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 ndo nimekemboi nikafika kwenye nikafika kwenye nime dauko ule msichana mwenye sasa alikuwa ananikemboisha mm-hmm. nikapata wasana wa Kenya wenzangu nikasema mm, mimi sasa hata zimeshafika sasa kama huku na wa Kenya mm-hmm. si tutapiga tu story tukapiga story watu wakapenda yani mtu anasema mimi nilikemboi juu ya hivi the, the experience mwingine anasema nilikuwa na kemboi nikachwa desert and everything so this lady became my dalala nikulize wakati mtu ana kemboi meaning hana any documents you don't have any document with you unless you manage kuiba your passport kuna kembo yako na passport zao mm. and kuna wengine wako na ikama ikama is your id mm. in saudi arabia though misa sunona nimepotea nikiwa one month old so sikuwa nimechukuliwa mm. ikama uh-huh. bado passport yangu sina so mimi nilitoka tu hivyo i didn't even have my passport kitu kingine risky nimeona hapa ni wewe umetoka hauna id na nasikiaga huko huko uh, ken boy usikwe kama hauna ID unakaka kwa gereza ama una reportiwa sio most of the people and sasa ukiingia uh, prison ni kama kafiri wako amesema uko na kesi na maybe alisema uliba dhahabu ama ulichapa mtoto you know those arabs lie mm-hmm. they lie a lot mm-hmm. 
so hapo ndo unajipata uko na kesi na mwarabu wako sasa ile siku yenye kuna place ni tangu ajawa za tunapeleka unaekelea vidole unachukuliwa fingerprints zinatoa details zako zote uliingia Saudi lini nani amekukafiri and everything mm. so kama kafiri wako amekuwekea ame amekuwekea makosa definitely mm. unaingia jail unaingia jela mm. most of, ama wana brush it off kama ni peti peti mm. cases mm. So they brush them off ama wanakuambia sasa wewe unaenda prison mhm mm sasa mkesi na kafiri wako sasa kafiri wako naye akipigiwa simu mara mbili tatu akachai kukuja mm. he will be deported back to Kenya na huyo mtu wa uba anakubeba anajua yeye ni Ken Boy actually mimi nilibebwa na dereva mkenya na alikuwa Ana... anajua alikuwa anajua alikuwa yeye anajua mimi ni Ken Boy ni Ken Boy na Ken Boy jo ame si definitely ni mtu anafanyanga hiyo job ya kukemboisha wasichana haya sasa mm -hmm. in case yeye yeah, anakukemboisha mpatane na nini asibamishwe wewe utaitishwa document zako ama ni yeye tu ataitishwa kuna kuaga na unajua definitely nimejifunika na sheria za Saudi ufai ufai kuinaandisha mtu nini ufai kuona sura ya mwanamke mm -hmm. nikiambiwa hivyo sasa mm -hmm. sasa mimi kuna ID fake there is an original ID but it's not me ikama ya mtu mwingine but si mimi it's a lady and that is not me picha yake si mimi but ina kuanga just in case so mm -hmm. now in case ya kuna stop over mna ukiutishwa id mnapea unapeana hiyo mnapita or how i scan or anything me okay actually it didn't happen to me so i don't know <laughs> si tulipita tu ilikuwa yani tu yosku god alikuwa na mimi hakuna ah, okay. mali tulisimamishwa yeah. mpaka mali ile nyumba yenye nilipelekwa mm -hmm. kwa the lady that we were communicating with wa kunikemboisha mhm mm mimi nikaingia kwa nyumba yakabaki njia kiongea na driver mm -hmm. Mimi nikapata huko kuna kuliwa ugali sikoma na nyama. Nikakuwa excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> na kuna wagenya wenzangu tukapiga story. Mm -hmm. Tukiangalia it's already 5 am in the morning. Mm -hmm. Nikulala. Sasa sisi tukalala. Mm -hmm. I spent another whole day nguko. Mhm. Mm Ndio kadema sasa umepumzikia kutosha, umeenda kazi. Mm -hmm. Na kanembea kazi it's double your salary. Mm -hmm. Kanembea unalipwa 2000 mimi nikakuwa excited uh -huh. 2000 how much is 2000 around 58000 56 hey uh -huh. nikakuwa excited haya uh -huh. kukata simu zikapigwa hapo nikaambiwa unaenda kazi ya 2000 nyumba ni for tahat yani uh -huh. ya chini na ya juu ndio uh -huh. unaenda uh -huh. na madam okay kazi zake mboi before hata uende hiyo job unaambia ngo job inakaaje yeah so mimi nikaambiwa job ni ya juu na chini na madama kwa na watoto watatu mm. but kazi yangu si watoto mm. ni usafi okay pia advantage yake uko kemboi yani you just stick to one kama kazi yako ni usafi ni usafi kama kazi yako ni kubabysit it's babysitting mm -hmm. if kazi yako ni ya caregiver ni ya caregiver that is it mm -hmm. that is the advantage of being a kemboi mm -hmm. so mimi nikakuwa excited mm -hmm. nikaenda job na mahali unaenda job Uh, hata kuitisha documents no hako nitisha documents zozote but niliambiwa nikiulizwa ikama yangu iko wapi ni sema nimeolewa Saudi mimi nilikuja na bwana yangu Saudi yeye mm. ndio yeah, akona documents zangu na ni sema niko na mtoto Saudi unaweza sana kuachiwa na wenye wametoka nje wako nje mm. aliambia wewe ndio uambie mwarabu kwa na mtoto kwa six months and uh, bwana yako ndo akona ikama yako uko na bwana na ndio uko na ikama yako ndio uko na documents zako just in case kama mwarabu atakwambia naweza kukafiri unamwambia yeye hata niongee na bwana yangu atuone kama atakubali unikafiri and that has always been the language mm -hmm. throughout my stay in Saudi Arabia as a kemboy mm -hmm. nilikuwa nafanya job na my first salary nimekuja nimefanya job it was smooth actually nilipata na madam alikuwa mzuri mm -hmm. sasa language barrier ndio ilikuwa kazi Mm. Tulikuwa na shida na language barrier. Uh -huh. Sasa mimi sijui mm. kuongea Kiarabu. Hata hata mm. hata hata. hata. Yeah. Na kuongea Kizungu. Madam mwenye niko naye hajui kuongea Kiarabu, Kizungu. Tulikuwa tuna communicate na simu. Uh -huh. At least alikuwa na iPhone, alikuwa uh -huh. naongea kitu na translate into uh -huh. English na sikia Kenya anasema. Uh -huh. Mimi mwezi wangu ikaisha, madam akadembea for now hataki mstana, hataki niendelee na kazi. Uh -huh. Atanisimamisha kazi, but akinitaji tena atanipigia atapigia dalala anirudishe tena kwa hiyo nyumba hiyo ni after how many months i uh, just one month mm -hmm. 
mimi nikarudi kwa nyumba yeah. kurudi kwa nyumba nikaambiwa nafaa kulipa rent mm. 800 saudi real mm. and uh, nilipe so ya chakula mm-hmm. alafu nona sasa nilikuwa nimekemboi nilitishwa 1000 ya dereva mm-hmm. so like nikalipa tena 100 yenye ilikuwa imebaki zilikuwa nimelipa 900 nikapea hiyo 900 mm-hmm. 100 nikamalizia nikalipa rent 800 mm-hmm. na nikapeana so ya chakula nikaambiwa hii so ya chakula ni ya 3 days unapumzika 3 days then you go back to work mm-hmm. so ikakuwa hivyo now me challenges zikaanza i'm big most uh, most of the arabs I don't know why they love body shaming people. Mm-hmm. So ni ule mwarabu ana akipiga simu anasema nataka msichana wa kazi na sikuwe mnono. Mhm. Sitaki mtu mnono. Wako na ile believe ya mtu mnono sijui anakula, sijui mtu mnono sijui ananuka, sijui nini. Yaani mm-hmm. Arabs sijui shida yao inakuanga gani. Mm-hmm. So me nikakaa kwa nyumba 2 weeks sina kazi. Hey, dalala na yeye sasa ndio ananiambia sasa dalala sasa kitu kingine sijui Kiarabu. Mwarabu anapiga simu nataka msichana mwenye simu nono anajua Kiarabu anajua kupika chakula za Kiarabu. Mimi Dalala ni nani? Dalala ni sasa nda how do you explain? Dalala ni anajua Kiarabu amekaa Saudi. Mm. At least anaweza ku anaweza stand in for you. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. in case of anything. Yeah. Those are the dalalas. Mm-hmm. In Saudi. Sasa mimi sijui Kiarabu, sijui kupika. Mimi ni niko na mwili. Now challenge now. Sasa challenge iko mpaka sasa na regret kutkemboi at the same at the same time. So two weeks later mm-hmm. nikapata job. Mm-hmm. Job yenye nilianza tulikuwa tunafanya job na Uganda. Mimi nilikuwa usafi, Uganda alikuwa kupika. Mm-hmm. Tukafanya job mm-hmm. the whole of Ramadan ikaisha nikalipo elfu zangu tatu. Ramadhan juu ya kazi mingi huwa wana wana increase mm. salary. Mm. So bidi nilipo elfu tatu. Nikakuwa mm. excited tena. Good money. Niko na pesa. Mm. And uh, nikafanya kazi. But from there uda lala tukakuwa tunasumbuana. Nikatoka kwake. Nikaenda kuishi kwingine. Mm. Uko kwingine tena nilienda kukakuwa yani temenye nilikuwa job kukashikanwa sasa unajua sasa police yenye imeshikanwa watu wa polisi wamekuja inakuanga hotspot they will always come back there mm-hmm. tena uko tena ika happen nafaa kutoka nikaenda kwingine sasa kwenye kwenye nilienda nilienda nikapata a welcoming lady mm-hmm. and uh, she was so good she used to live there though she was married there in saudi but mm-hmm. bwanake alikuwa wa, alikuwa driver family driver Now the ladies the Moses so Dalala ndo alikuwa anakaa kwa nyumba na mtoto wao. Mm-hmm. And uh, me tuko kaa na yeye vizuri, atakuwa na issues and job ikipatikana naenda. So but mimi sijui nilikuwa nafanya kazi pesa zinaenda wapi. Si kwa mtu wa kwenda maistraha. But I don't know where I used to kuweka pesa zangu. Nilikuwa napata pesa but sijui ziko wapi. I can't even explain. Nikishatuma zenye natuma home nikiangalia sina pesa nikipiga simu home naambiwa sina pesa so zikuwa na job pesa zangu kwenye zilikuwa zinaenda mm-hmm. but i kept on sending money cuz unajua unapigiwa simu uambiwe oh brother kwa mfukuzwa shule oh sijui kuna itajika sijui uniform sijui nini mm-hmm. it is really tough mm-hmm. so ivo tuto kulikuwa then till uh, last year April nilienda job ya Ramadhan ya Ramadan, nikatokea kazi nikakaa kwa nyumba job ikapatikana nikaambiwa kuna job nikasema ni sawa nitaenda kazi but sasa huyu dalala mwe tulikuwa na yeye mm-hmm. kuna msichana alikuwa amepotelea kwake and huo msichana alikuwa anafanya job i guess kwa major one of those prominent people who work for the government of Saudi Arabia mm-hmm. alikuwa amepotelea kwake So kumbe msichana ameishi kutafutwa. Yes msichana alitupa line na akaflash simu. But I guess hii simu yenye alikuwa nayo alikuwa amenunuliwa na kafiri. So alikuwa na track the codes in that phone. Mm. Wanaona mpaka msichana anaongeanga na mtu fulani mm. na mtu mwenye wanaishi na yeye ako around 
but they won't give the it i see me yake yonishani the exact location mm-hmm. yani tu ni around but the exact house are yonishani ni wapi mm-hmm. so it happen u dalala wakafanya setup now this is my journey in prison to go to prison now sasa wakafanya wakafanya setup wakapigia wakapatia madam simu wakamwambia pigia huyu dalala mwambie unataka msta na wakazi wa hivi na hivi na mimi mpaka tuko madam akasema mpaka apewe namba yangu ni already nishatafuta namba za mtaro Saudi Arabia kuna namba za mitaro huko mm-hmm. zimeregistiwa hata sijui na kina nani but nilikuwa na line ya Saudi mm-hmm. madam akapewa line yangu namba yangu akanipigia simu akaniambia mimi nataka msta na wakazi wa kuni babysit ya watoto naendanga kazi narudi jioni around 4 so webo kiamka before watoto wa mke jotoa na mka round 1 before watoto wa mke juu nyumba yangu ni ndogo unafanya usafi unakaa na watoto watoto wa kiamka unawapea food na waosha and everything mamba mama kanemba tanilipa 2500 nikasema ni sawa mimi nikajitayarisha nikapack bag yangu ya uniforms sabuni huku nje tunajibaia sabuni kwa get hizo personal items unajibaia na uniform mimi nikapack bag yangu nikaenda job nikapetiwa driver nikaenda job tulivyo tulifika kwa location tukapigia madam simu nikapigia dalala nikamwambia pigie madam simu amwambie nimefika madam akasema kuna brother yake yako hapo nje anakuja kunichukua brother yake akatu nika akadini akatuona akakuja kwa gari akauliza ndio akauliza driver driver alikuwa mpakistan akauliza driver wewe ndio na sasa hizo mimi niko kwa call na dalala tunaongea na dalala anaambia rose before uingie hiyo job uingie kwa nyumba before u, u, wenda kwa ukishafika ambia madam akuoneshe nyumba kama nyumba haitakupendeza urudi kwa hiyo gari hiyo taxi urudi kwa nyumba nikamwambia ni sawa tunaongea tu bado na dalala jakata simu tuko kwa call kidogo then the brother yake mwenye nasema kana ni brother yake it was not a brother yake alikuwa ni polisi but alikuwa plain mm-hmm. alikuwa ameva just t-shirt ya black na jeans alikuwa tu hivyo plain alikuja kagemea hapo kwa gari na alikuwa ameshika 500 me all of a sudden nasikia mtu anasema shurta shurta police police when he come when where is your id mimi sina id akaniambia sawa leta simu yangu simu yangu ikagrabiwa but sasa before ta sarasu naona bado nimemsema jin <laughs> tuko kwa call tuko kwa call so alisikia shurta shurta when he come nikaambia sara sara mimi nimeshikwa sara kakata simu let's her nickname her sara sara kakata simu and uh, even though mimi nileshikwa nikaulizwa huyu dalala mwenye amekuleta kazi ako wapi nikasema mimi sijui nimetoa tu namba kwa group nikamcall one thing dalala alikuwa ametuambia anga ukawai ulizwa kwenye unaishi usiwai letana kwenye unaishi ju definitely kuna wasana wengine kwa nyumba mtabebwa nyinyi wote sasa mimi nilimwambia sijui nikapigwa kofi nikaambia utaongea hasa driver akachukuliwa akapelekwa gari tofauti na mimi nikaikuwa gari tofauti sasa hizo handcuffs na nikanyang'anywa simu kumbe ule driver alipeana location ya kwenye Sara anaishi alipeana location akasema Sara anaishi majaradia nyumba 92 house number 92 huko ndio Sara anaishi sasa ni wale wanyana ma supply huko nje sasa eh ni di dalala dalala sasa akasi akapeana sasa dereva alipeana kwenye nani sara naishi sasa unajua dereva alikuwa na confidence yeye ni Pakistan na ako na original ID ako sawa yako na documents zote za kutuma kuwe Saudi Arabia mm-hmm. na unaona sasa yeye ni taxi driver juu nimeenda na taxi sasa hata alikuwa anaulizwa huyu msero umemsoma sasa sema tu nime anaishi kwa sara oh sara sijui ni akapeana details zote mimi hii side nyingine naongeleshwa si semi kitu yote mm-hmm nasema tu sijui sara sijui sara tukafika sasa polisi kumbe bebe tulienda tulienda tu mpaka kwa nyumba ya sara polisi wakavunja mlango wakaingia wakatoa sara ndani na mtoto wake sara alikuwa na mtoto wa 3 years 2 2 years i guess wakaingia kwa nyumba wakachukua msara na mtoto wake tukaingia kwa gari mimi nikulia tu nimelia cuz i've already been slapped i talk nilikuwa na chapo nikiambua nionge niseme sara ni nani dalala nini yani nilikuwa naambiwa ni kubali yeye ni dalala but nasema mimi si mjui nao sara amekuja kwa gari tumeanza kuongea kikuyu tunaambiwa tunyamaze tukanyamaza sara simu ya sara imechukuliwa wanajaribu ku call all the contacts contacts zenyewe wanaona ziko connected na ule msichana dereva naye anasema 
alichukua msana akampeleka sijui na huku Oleia kuna place inaitwa Oleia nilipeleka msana huko Oleia tunaenda na tunapozunguka na polisi huku ndio Oleia Oleia ndio ina namba gani dereva hata anasema ati hapana tena si huku ni kwingine tulizunguka till sasa tukafikishwa tukaenda place sasa ni desert in the middle of nowhere nowhere tulichapiwa hiyo desert tukiambua tuonge mimi naulizwa najua mstana nasema sijui mstana sara anasema unajua mstana sijui mstana tunachapwa tu talk 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 mimi jodi ya, ya kushtuka nilikuwa nanyesha yani tu nimeshtuka nimelia yani tu niko ni kuchapwa tu tukiambia ngo tuongea hakuna mwenye anaongea wakatuambia sawa basi tumekata kuongea na mekata kutoa huko mstana mnaenda sijin mimi sikuwa najua sijin ni prison ni nilijua vile tulifika huko tukaenda police station tukaandikiwa tuka wakaandika i don't know ni statement ama ni nini tukalala police station tuko na pingu za mikono na miguu wakaandika statement tukalala police station next day tukapelekwa prison mi kupelekwa prison wakadiambia hawezi nichukua definitely king ya prison unalikuwa una unapimwa corona and pressure mm-hmm. mimi pressure yangu iko juu already i guess ni juu ya kushtuka kwa hiyo video hiyo uh, video ya ukipelekwa prison mm-hmm. inakaa ulikuwa na fra, na furaha sana okay hapo nilikuwa natoka prison i was very excited after five months nimetoka oh. prison mm-hmm. nilikuwa naenda deportation center mm-hmm. now kwa hiyo video nilikuwa naenda deportation center so mimi nimeingia prison prison wakaniambia hapana mpaka lazima nipeleke hospitali mm-hmm. ndio wanikubali kuingia prison so pre- pressure yangu iko juu nikapeleke hospitali shemesi it's like Kenya National Hospital sasa hiyo ndio huko ya government nikapeleke huko wa wakaniambia it's manageable i can still go back kwa nirudi t- kwa jela mm-hmm. nirudi sasa wakaandika barua mimi nika tukafanyiwa search and everything tukaingia jela sasa that was my journey in, in prison tukaenda tukapata wa Kenya wenzetu walikuwa so welcoming tuka tukaikiwa kuku tulipata walikuwa wamekula kuku prison mnakula kuku <laughs> eh yeah, kula kuku tulipata kulikuwa hey. na kuku na mchele sio prison you mnakula kuku kwa prison eh hey, half a chicken Jua ni mgeni ama inakuaga hivyo through. Mimi inakuwa ilikuwa I thought ni juice sisi ni wageni but later on I realized ni kitu ya iko daily. Si basi hata unaweza penda kukaa huko. Hapana, huwezi taka kukaa huko. <laughs> kula kuku. Kuku la kuku hapana freedom <laughs> might. Eh hey, kama kuna kitu nimekuja kuvali in this life is freedom. Freedom. Yeah. freedom. Mm. So tumefika kule tumekaribishwa na wakenya wenzetu wametupatia rice and chicken. Mm-hmm. Hey hata aziteremki mm-hmm. hazishuki hata tukaambia tutengenezee chai wakaenda kachota manini majimoto wakaeka tea bag na sukari tukapewa tukakunywa tukaoneshwa mali tutalala so tulishia bed me and, um, and my dalala mm-hmm. na mtoto kabedi nikale kana tushana ka high school kako na kako mara 3 1 2 3 mm-hmm. kako hivyo sasa tukaeka huko next day tukaitwa tukaenda investigation mm. tuka kila mtu alikuwa na statement tofauti mm-hmm. okay sara aliniambia nisiwahi kubali yeye ni dalala na kama analipangwa akikutupeleka kazi akaniambia nisiseme hivyo mhm of which yes analipwa 250 lakini nipeleka kazi analipwa 250 reals mhm do alinembe nisiseme mm-hmm. so mimi do alinembe ukinisema rose tutakaa hapa sana nikamwambia ni sawa mimi sitasema mm but to take you back kidogo mm-hmm. ite mbenye nilishikwa mm-hmm. sara alipigia bwana yake simu akamwambia rose ameshikwa bwana yake akamwambia hata nikwapa around kwa nyumba hata nikuje nikuchukue kumbe polisi hata walikuwa shafika hapo kwa hiyo location mm-hmm. polisi ni mtu nilo alikuwa anangoza tu wako around nile tu alikuwa anangoza kuambiwa ni nyumba fulani wafike hapo mm-hmm. so bwana yake akingana kufungua gate alishikwa ali polisi walikuja kamuuliza unafanya nini hapa akasema anaishi hapa ndani wakamchukua kamweka kwa gari na wakamnyang'anya simu. Mm-hmm. So pia bwana Sara alishikwa. Na unajua sasa mimi na mimi nimeshikwa na dereva yeah. mwenye tulikuwa na yeye. Yeah. We. Jela tukapelekwa investigation. 
but bwana sara aliachiliwa later on of which tena alirudi jela i don't know why mm. now sasa mimi niko jela sasa mimi na sara sara tukakaa na for like two months in the same amba kuna amba kulikuwa namba 4 5 amba 7 8 9 10 so si tulikuwa amba 10 amba 10 ilikuwa ni ya wale wageni after then some mta separate wa mtaenda amba tofauti kuna warabu wataenda amba ilikuwa amba 6 ya warabu mm-hmm. though cause kuna all nationalities philippines bangladesh mm-hmm. indonesia all the nationalities walikuwa hiyo prison mm-hmm. so tuko prison sasa ikafika place sasa sara njua kuna mtoto mm-hmm. lazima angeenda amba ya watoto yeah. kule kwenye ile ni kwenye kuna mama wenyewe wako na watoto mm-hmm. sasa alipelekwa amba 4 mimi nikabaki amba 10 sasa na. sala wewe na bwana yake mko prison eh tuko prison basi unajua mm-hmm. bwana yake ako prison ya wanaume yeah. sara sasa akapelekwa amba 4 mm-hmm. mimi nikwa nikabaki amba 10 sasa nilipelekwa kwa amba ya mama watoto mm-hmm. akakaa huko mm-hmm. trust you me the whole time we were there we mm-hmm. never went to prison mm-hmm. ah we never went to court mm-hmm tulikuwa tu tunaka mm-hmm. but kuna sasa wale wanume wamesimamia taksim sasa how do you explain taksim mm-hmm. ni category ya makosa yako mm-hmm. kuna taksim one that is uh, kama ulipigana ama uliua that is taksim one taksim two ni wizi taksim three ni umalaya mm-hmm. taksim four hakuna taksim four na five i guess ni ulevi mm-hmm. taksim six kuna sasa nilikuwa taksim seven sasa taksim seven mm-hmm. nimebeba makosa zote taksim mm-hmm. seven Mm-hmm. Niko na umalaya ndani <laughs> niko na yani makosa zote uchawi yani hiyo ndo taksim 7 sasa mimi nilikuwa oh. taksim 7 mm-hmm. I'm illegally there I don't have passport and everything mm-hmm. sasa mimi nilikuwa hiyo taksim 7 mimi na Sara mm-hmm. so kuna wale wanaume wanakujanga wenye wamesimamia kesi zenu mm-hmm. sasa wanaume wanakujanga once once mm-hmm. sasa wanakuja lakini sasa unajua unapatia ngo ka card mm-hmm. kako na majina yako nationality hiyo mm-hmm. prison number hiyo mm-hmm. ikama number mm-hmm na hivyo sasa ako kakad sasa ndo akikuja unamuonesha unamuonesha ako kakad anakuambia unangojea kitu fulani anakupatia updates unangoja kuenda kwa utini unangoja tena kuenda ama unarudi investigation tena ama bado uko na kifungo unangoja kitu fulani hivyo sasa ndo kulikuwa so mimi nilikuwa taxi 7 mwanume wa taxi 7 anakuja na muuliza kunaenda aje hapa ananiambia sasa nyinyi mnangoja dna tujue kati ya wewe na sara nani mama mtoto Naomba si mimi si mama mtoto. Mbona ninaambiwa ati niko na mtoto? Anaambia hapana. Uh-huh. We have to know who is the real mother uh-huh. to this baby. Uh-huh. But mimi sikufanywa DNA yote. DNA ilifanywa Sara peke yake na mtoto wake. Yeah. Wakapata mtoto ni wa Sara. Uh-huh. Wakatuambia ta hakuna evidence. Enyi inaonesha. Yaani wakati kuachilia tu. Uh-huh. They said nyinyi mtaenda deportation center. Uh-huh. And that is 5 months later uh-huh. ndo nikachukua hiyo video after nimeingia kwa gari nimefungwa punguza mikono na migu ndo nimeingia sasa ninatoka naenda deportation center hapo ndo nilichukua hiyo video deportation center i said for one week mm-hmm. my papers were processed mm-hmm. and that is how i came back to kenya but saudi arabia prison it's hell mnapigania simu mm-hmm. mnapigania food mm-hmm. alafu sasa ujue vita yangu kama ni mimi napigana na mtu nchi nyingine ujue wa kenya wenzangu wote watakuja backup mm-hmm tutapigana hizi zile kwa ilikuwa gani vita 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 uko ndani kwa prison uko ndani kwa prison uli, ulifungwa 5 months nilikaa 5 months though sikuwa yenda kotini i never went to court but i stayed in prison for 5 months na sara we stayed we, the same day we left with sara the same day bwana kile same bwana kile aliachiliwa 2 months later then akarudi prison i don't know why to sh- he went back to prison hapo i can't explain aliachiliwa he was free he went uko nje but akarudishwa jela i don't know the reason as to why aliarudishwa jela till to date ako jela umesikwa na umekuja pesa mo umesave gapi wewe sarasi alikuwa na pesa kwa sababu tayari alikuwa amefanya hiyo kazi for long that's a bit i don't know about sara alikuwa amesave gapi na wao muko kwa mmekuja Kenya. Mm. Utaenda kwa watu wenu ama utaanza wapi maisha? Mimi nitaenda kwa my cousin. Mhm. Nika nikae huko. Mm. Then uh, I rent out my car, whole, car, car room mm-hmm. ka 2500. Mm-hmm. 
nikaachilia mattress nikabai ka gas na tu viombo mm -hmm. totally I didn't come with money mimi pesa zangu si okay tijui kwenye ziko pesa mm -hmm. it happens you know those stories uh, mtu ma pesa ujui kwenye ziko yeah it happens mtu pia anaikaga biashara na inafika mahali hakuli profit mm -hmm. so swali yangu ni hii did you do you think sala alime ulifanya mistake sala kukutoa ndani No. Uh, do you think like you can regret kutoka ndani? Ukaenda nje kama king boy. I regret, but at the same time pia mm. pale kwa contract. Already niko na 2 weeks na wacha nipeleka sale. So bado it was not safe for me. Mm. So I don't regret anything. At the same time I regret niko 250 50. Mm. Kutoka utoke huko umeka miaka gezi gapi huko? Uh, five months. This is my fifth month. Mm -hmm. Yes, Juni kujala last year. <sighs> Now you see, poa kona kaleka. Tasa unajua, mtu anasema kuna msana alikuwa Saudi Arabia. Mm. She can do a nice job. So buru buru, mama ana nitia bibaro zakufua, cooking, and uh, sometimes doing the whole like general cleaning in the houses. Mm -hmm. That is what I've been surviving on. Mm -hmm. But mwili na nisumbua. Uh, pressure mm -hmm. till like three weeks ago nilikuwa mm -hmm. nimetoka bathroom i was having severe headaches mimi nakunywa tu panadol mm -hmm. okay venye nilikuja kenya niliachana na stories za high mini pressure mm -hmm. till sayozo three weeks mm -hmm. ndo nili collapse from the bathroom yeah. <clears throat> my neighbors took me to mama lucy mm -hmm. mama lucy wakasema no this is a serious case transfer mm -hmm. her to kenyatta i was referred to kenyatta mm -hmm. Kenyatta my BP was 200 it was almost almost had a stroke because mm -hmm. it was too high mm -hmm. so I was admitted to Kenyatta National Hospital I stayed there for nine days mm -hmm. I was discharged but I left Kenyatta on debt I didn't because you know I don't have any con NHIF yes mm -hmm. but I just mature it's one it's due in one month mm -hmm. immature mm -hmm. and sasa NHIF yangu ya macho so hizi nisaidia mm. so i talked to the nurse akanipeleka kwa social worker mm. social worker akaniambia unaweza toka on debt mm. only you sign like we, you take your photocopy of your id and everything and your details mm. like you'll be paying a thousand bob mm -hmm. my bill was 41000 Yes, and I managed to pay. It was 49,000, but I paid for 7,000 I some shillings ju. Mm -hmm. But my bill was now that I have a debt of 41,906. Mm -hmm. That is my debt mm -hmm. or oh, in Kenyatta. And I'll be going for like now I've been discharged, I'll be going for to for clinic in two weeks time. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Sorry about that. Uh wakati sasa umeogea hivyo na umeogeresha watu <coughs> all those and you look very strong like nothing all is you unaka very strong unaka umekubali umejikubali sasa kwa sababu hiyo mambo yote umeongea si watu wengi wamepitia hiyo kuna watu wengine wamepitia kikemboy uko god lakini uh, they don't end up in prison they just come back home home is the best all the way The only so, option I have now it's just to be strong mm -hmm. I guess hata mali nimefika nimechoka say excuse hata kulia ni ngumu kwangu see I don't cry anymore I don't I'm just like since being strong is the only option I have mm -hmm. yeah so because of your privacy stashida nikikuliza unaishi wapi and so on But maybe kuna mtu agependa kukuogeresha na pia kuna mtu ambaye agependa kusikia uh, maybe kukusaidia le, na kazi si ugependa kazi labda yeah, I would love a job uh -huh. naweza taka kufanya kazi cuz I don't want to go back to the streets uh -huh. I don't want to go back into prostitution uh -huh. um, I really don't want I don't want uh -huh. taki taki kabisa kabisa uh -huh. And I hope your mafikra haikukujiangi alafu you feel like you want to go back again. No, no, mm. no. I don't feel like. Please don't do that because uh, opportunities are always there. Na ningependa uangalie hii camera. 
tupatie na baya kwa ya simu maybe kuna mtu wa baya anaweza tupatia kazi uh, kusaidia na kazi na pia akuinue mahali na pia labda kuna kazi ukitaka kufanya or even maybe kuna mtu angesema i would like to settle with you <laughs> you never know uh, so you can give us your number angalia uh, hii kamera utupatie na baya yako ya simu okay my number is uh, 0792 592203 and i'll repeat it again 0792 592203 wow wonderful so <clears throat> my good people you had it tunasikiaga mambo ambayo mtu amepitia leo hiyo nayo itakuwa testimony kwa maisha yake kiona msichana kama huyu amekuja kuongea uh, ni mtu amejikubali na wakati umejikubali pia wewe uko karibu sana na Mungu. Uh, I am very sure things will never be the same again kwa sababu atasaidika. Thank you very much. Okay. Mungu akubariki, Mungu akuonekanie, Mungu akupe baraka abazo zinapowagwa wale ambao watu wanapenda. Nayo na yote umepitia it can never be the same again. Mm-hmm. Na wakati umekuja hapa things are okay now. Thank na utasaidika. You. Mimi nakutakia baraka na ukipata kazi tuambie tukuje tu celebrate. Eh? Okay. Ukipata pia mtu anaweza kusaidia na lebi hataki kus, kuonekana kwa TV ama kusemekana kwa TV. We are always there to support such people na ku appreciate. Eh? Thank you. kwa sababu umekuja kwa hii our channel to talk all what you have talked about. Uh, si watu wengi wanaweza kusema hivyo ama pia watu wengi wanaweza kubali such interview but for you it's amazing. May God bless you. May God be with you. Thank you my good people. Hapo ndio tutafikisha hii ya leo. And please keep subscribing ndio tuweze kujua story nyingi zaidi. Muone watu wanapitiaga, wanakaa mahali, sasa uchungu imeisha, kilio imeisha, sasa wanakaa tu. They are only surviving. They are only they are just there. But pia it's not good to be don't care. It is also good to know that you have to be somewhere. Tutaendelea kusikizana na nyinyi, tutaendelea kuwasikiza and may God bless you and may God be with you all the time. Amen.